Hey guys, um, I don't know if some of you know this or not, but I was contacted on uh, Monday and Tuesday by Headline News to um, kind of commentate about this Brian Laundry guy, uh, the dude that supposedly killed his girlfriend and I was hiding out in the swamp and whatnot. But anyway, I did an interview uh, Monday night and Tuesday night. Actually, Tuesday night, they had John Walsh on and a bunch of other experts. So for those of you that missed it, uh, no worries, but let me, we've had hundreds and hundreds of emails about my thoughts about it. So I'm just going to make a video and, and, and get it over with. So anyway, um, okay. So they said this guy was hiding in a swamp. Um, no, there's no way that this dude was hiding in a swamp. And I'll tell you why. First off, he was an experienced camper. Okay. This guy went cross country in a little van that was converted with a bed in the back. He had, uh, skills when it comes to camping. And you have to assume if he had camping skills, he had some basic survival protocol knowledge. They were probably sleeping out at night under the stars, had a fire, had their sleeping bags outside. So the guy obviously had some skills when it comes to, to survival. As a matter of fact, somebody in his family or friends said, oh yeah, he could definitely survive in the wilderness. So with that said, if you had a brain cell in your head, the last place you would want to go uh, to elude the police is a swamp. Okay, uh, you just boxed yourself in. You're going to be soaking wet the whole time. Uh, you're going to get eaten up with bugs. You're going to get eaten up with leeches. There were alligators there. Uh, you know, there was only a few ways in. So he had his, you know, major avenues of approach all blocked off. So he was like boxed in. No way that guy was there. Then they said, well, he went to the Appalachian Trail. Better choice, but do I think he was there? No, I do not. Why? Why would he go to the Appalachian Trail by himself with a backpack, knowing as an experienced camper, he's only going to be able to survive so long. You can only carry so much gear with you. After your supplies run out, you're in a survival situation. End of story. <coughs> I don't think he would have done that. What I think, in my opinion, uh, he has support, whether it's family, friends, whoever, uh, that took him to a location, I would say like maybe a camping site or a trailer park or some austere environment, but it's not quote unquote, like surviving in the woods. Um, and that would be my, my guess. He probably feels safe there. He's going to go somewhere where he feels safe. And I would say based on his experience, he's 24 years old. Um, that's where he's at. So anyway, that's my two cents. You know, I may be dead wrong. They may find his body in that swamp tomorrow, but that's the last place I would have gone. Uh, I've survived in swamps and let me tell you, it sucks. Um, I had 224 leech bites from my waist down, uh, when I was in Sri Lanka in a swamp. And let me tell you something, uh, you ain't gonna survive long in that crap. There ain't no way in hell. And either hypothermia is going to get you or uh, dehydration, or you're going to get a mechanical injury tweak your knee, tweak your ankle, then you're done. So anyway, that's my two cents on it, guys. Uh, you know, hopefully they'll find this guy and find out the truth about what happened to his girlfriend.